Hi guys, it is me and I am back to give you some great tips on how to make more Primo Gems and Mora, Enhancement Ores, anything like that to make you rich on Genshin. Hopefully these tips are helpful, timestamps are in the description if you're looking for a specific thing, and let's get started. So I'm pretty sure the number one thing you all really want are Primo Gems and that is fine because I do too. So there are many ways to get Primo Gems and I have a video on the exploration way that I get Primo Gems. It will be linked in the corner if you want to check it out. But how I do that is by creating a treasure compass and walking around places I might have explored already and getting missing chests or even new areas. It is okay if you don't want to make this or if you don't have the resources to do it because it is pretty pricey. Another solution for you is by using the Genshin interactive map and locating chests and also mini puzzles. Don't forget that you can also get sealies and pressure plates and elemental monuments and there are other little challenges, especially in Inazuma there's a lot of relay stones, so don't forget to use those too because that is also going towards your exploration and not just the chests. Through that, I'm able to get lots more Primo Gems, and once I explore Sumeru, I'm probably going to get a lot more. The next thing I really hope you don't underestimate is the Hangout Quests. Yes, some of them might be a little boring or it might be time consuming, but they also give you Primo Gems. So if you have these commission keys, highly recommend you claim them now and then unlock a Hangout Quest. As you can see here in Endings, you will get rewards depending on the amount of Hangout Endings you get. If you obtain 5 Hangouts, you get these Primo Gems, as well as doing 1 and 3. So if you have the chance, go and do the Hangouts and it will definitely, definitely benefit you and it's also a chance to learn more about the character. There's also other rewards too, such as XP or also ascension materials, so don't forget to get those as well. Once you've finished all five endings, or depending on how many there are, make sure you claim the rewards and it's definitely worth it. Another thing is story quests. Story quests take a little bit more time depending on how long you spend. If you run through the dialogue real quick, it might be around 30 to 45 minutes, or maybe even 20 depending on really how fast you click. Or if you want to listen to the whole thing, it might take you a little over an hour. My biggest tip here is just to unlock them. You don't have to complete them all at once, but just claim your commission keys and unlock them, and then let them sit here until you have the chance to do it. If you have story quests right now, I really recommend you go and do them, or if you can't do them yet because you're not at the right adventure rank, then try doing world quests because those also give you Primo Gems. Check your inventory as soon as you're done watching this video and see if you have any of these sigils. You might have these lying around, they're in here in the precious items, and if you do have sigils then you're in luck because you can trade these in and get various rewards. Every region has a store with a gemstone and here is where you can trade in your sigils and get rewards. Some rewards are a one-time purchase, but as for Mora, if you have lots of sigils, you can trade in the sigils for the Mora. In Inazuma, it's a bit different, you can get furnishings, but in Liwe and Mondstadt, as I know so far, you can get Mora and it's going to be infinite depending on if you have the sigils or not. So in Liwe, I'm just going to go over here and talk to the owner. And then look here in the souvenir shop, you can get all these rewards. We have prototypes and also constellations for the traveler and also these ascension materials. But for Mora, it doesn't sell out and you just exchange it and the amount you want. So if you are running low on Mora and need a little bit, go check out your sigils and you might just have some and it'll spare you. The next thing I really suggest you do is at least one Mora ley line per week and trying not to spend this amount of Mora. So set a limit for yourself. Depending on how much you have in your account, you might want to set a different limit. So for me, I don't want to go under 22 million Mora just in case, so I'm always trying to stay above that limit. If I notice that I'm cutting it really close to that limit, I'm going to go out and farm more Mora. So during the week, I don't spend on the five days of the week, and on the weekends, that's what I spend on artifacts or enhancing and also leveling up characters. But from Monday through Friday, Friday, I try to avoid using any Mora or XP unless it's clearing out my artifact inventory, but that is it, and I'm trying to use those 5 days for simply gaining Mora and not spending it. Having these limits can definitely improve your saving habits, so I recommend now thinking of a goal or a limit of how much you want to save and how much you can spend. If you try doing a Mora leyline at least once a week, you will have enough Mora to proceed into the game. You just might go a little slower, but still try to make Mora farming in your routine. And so for my next tip is Fragile Resin. You might have this already if you claim the Battle Pass rewards. 
and these can be very helpful later on in the higher adventure ranks. So if you are at a low adventure rank, and I mean below the level of 45, do not spend these fragile resins. Fragile resin can be used to refill your resin, so if you don't have any resin, you would just use this and then refill that resin, 60 resin points, and then you can claim any rewards that you need. And as you know, rewards scale with world level, so if you're at a higher level, your rewards are going to be better. If you're at a lower one, they won't be as good as the higher ones. So what I'm trying to say here is do not use your fragile resin if you are still at a low level because you can use this resin later on. If you are at the max world level, you can use this on ley lines, on domains, and anything you need to advance in the game. I'm still collecting mine because I don't really have a use yet for them. But here is my tip if you are planning to use fragile resin. If you're going to use fragile resin to farm artifacts, I suggest you stop right now and listen to this first. Artifacts require luck and it's really really hard to get the artifact you want on your first try. Even if you spend all your resin and you go do the domain a hundred times, you aren't guaranteed to get that perfect artifact you want. However, if you do a hundred more ley lines, you are always getting the same amount every single time. So use your fragile resin on something you can guarantee is going to help your account rather than an RNG artifact look. So if you're planning to use fragile resin, I wouldn't go ahead and run the domains for artifacts just yet and you might want to do things like weapon ascension materials, XP books, talent books also, and more ley lines because those are guaranteed to benefit your account. Something I hope you're doing if you're playing Genshin is logging in every day to do your commissions. Every commission is 10 Prima Gems and you get 20 Prima Gems for completing all of them and claiming the rewards by Catherine. The commissions give you lots of rewards like Prima Gems, Mora, Friendship XP, and so much more that they're too good to miss. It's okay if you miss one day, but try to stay on track and always do these because the Primo Gems will pile up and they will give you lots over time. Especially if you're free to play, you don't want to miss any opportunity where you can get Primo Gems. So make sure after you finish your four Primo Gems every single day, they reset daily, you want to go and speak to Catherine to make sure you get these extra rewards. Also, events are a big thing on how to get Primo Gems and also XP and Mystic Enhancement Ores. So if you if you haven't done any of the events yet, you might want to go and start them and also look at any other options to get Primo Gems, such as the test run and also the Hoyo Lab daily check-in where you can get Primo Gems depending on the number of days that you log in. And now it's time for the Mystic Enhancement Ores. You might use a lot of these at one time, and that's because you're raising weapons. Weapons are so expensive to raise and it gets just more and more expensive. That's why I always try to save a little bit of this so I can raise any weapon that I want and I don't have to worry about going broke in that case. So how am I always able to maintain a large amount of these Mystic Enhancement Ores? The first thing is through mining. Try to farm these crystal chunks and if you don't know their locations, check the Genshin interactive map and find these locations. And once you farm them, go to one of the blacksmiths and turn them into the Mystic Enhancement Ores. You don't really want to farm the iron chunks or the white iron chunks because it'll only turn into a less rare version of the enhancement ores. And you also don't need to get the magic crystal chunks because these require resin to make the enhancement ores. So these are your go-to option. My main source of getting these is through expeditions. So put your characters on the 20 hour expedition and let them farm these and claim them daily. I try to craft these into mystic enhancement ores around every three or so days because I don't need that many. You might need a little bit more, so forge the amounts of mystic enhancement ores that you will need and depending on your account. Same for Mora, try to set a limit to yourself so that you don't go under that limit and you won't be lacking any of these. You've probably heard me say this a million times, but go use your teapot. In this case, go to the trust rank section, and if you are a trust rank 1, then you might want to start leveling up that trust rank, because every level you get rewards, and those rewards include Prima Gems. You can also get Adeptal Coins, which you can use in the shop. You can also go to the Realm Depot and claim rewards that you need. If you need Mora, you can purchase a lot of it. If you need Hero's Wit or Mystic Enhancement Ores, this is where I get a lot of it, then go and claim those. Your teapot has a lot of resources waiting for you, so if you're abandoning it, you're missing out on all the resources and the advantages that it comes with. The higher your adeptal energy, which means the more furnishings you put, the more rewards you're going to get, and the faster your adeptal coins will build up. 
So those are going to be my big tips on farming and how you can get rich on Genshin. I also have other videos like getting Mora and also saving up which I'll link in the top corner. So check those out if you need them. And I really hope you have a great day and are enjoying 3.0 so far. It has been so much fun exploring. The scenery is lovely and it's so great to explore a new region. So as usual, good luck on your polls and I hope to see you in our next video. Don't forget to check out my Instagram which is linked in the description and I'll see you later. Bye!